Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and this week I'm teaching you how to make a floral tiered cake, which is great for any occasion. Maybe something like Mother's Day. To make this cake, I baked 20 pounds of carrot cake. I love carrot cake. I level each cake to the same height. Now for each size cake that I baked, I baked three pans of that size. And one of the pans, I baked half the amount of batter as the other two pans. This way, from the two regular pans, I'll get two layers of cake, and from the half size, I'll get one for a total of five layers of cake. And then I flip the cakes over and remove the caramelization from the bottom. For this carrot cake, I've decided to make an orange spice. Simple syrup. Now my carrot cake recipe, which you can find on my blog, has oranges in it and some spice, and I just wanted to amp it up. Nice. Huh. To make my orange spice simple syrup, I boiled together freshly squeezed orange juice, water, sugar, cinnamon stick, and then a few pieces of my lovely orange peel, which I just cut off with a knife. That's what Sir Squeeze wanted to do for his mom. Madame Squeeze. Madame Squeeze. Yes! <laughs> Madame Squeeze. It is a family business. Mm. He's carrying it. That's why he's a Sir. He's actually Sir Squeeze a lot the third. You can't tell that he's bougie. He's wearing a top hat and bow tie in my cake book. Right now, we are having a Mother's Day sale at hattacake.com. Grab the best deals and surprise your mom with amazing goodies. Click the eye to check out my shop. I've decided to fill this cake with cream cheese frosting because what's better than carrot cake with cream cheese frosting? I need to pipe an Italian meringue buttercream fence around each layer of cake and then fill it with cream cheese frosting. This way the buttercream sets up nice and firm and the cream cheese frosting can't ooze out. If you want to see how I make my cream cheese frosting, you can check that out right here. To pipe my fence, I use a round piping tip. I place my Italian meringue buttercream in a piping bag, and then I just turn my Lazy Susan while I pipe a border around the edge of the layer of cake. Then I put a dollop of cream cheese frosting in the middle and spread it out to the fence, making sure it's an even layer. I don't want you to dredge up crumbs, okay? Your mom doesn't deserve dredged up crumbs. <laughs> My son plays this game called one, two, three, the floor is lava. One, two, three, the floor is lava. And then you're supposed to like get up on the couch. So pretend the surface of your cake is lava and you don't want <laughs> your spatula to hit it. I love that game, but nobody plays it with me anymore. You really love that game? Yeah. Okay, so you want to set up a play date? <laughs> sure, why okay. not? <laughs> and then I need to crumb coat the outside with Italian meringue buttercream and chill it. And I need to repeat this two more times for my other tiers of cake. If you guys want to see what I'm up to when I'm not in this kitchen, head to howtocakeit.com and sign up to be a VIP. I'll send you an exclusive video to your inbox on Monday nights and I'll give you a first look at each week's cake. Just like a peek. Like Now your crumb coat is chilled, it is time to ice these cakes. Of course I'm using more Italian meringue buttercream and I'm just putting it on the sides and the top and then I want to use a bench scraper to get these sides nice and smooth. Plus the cakes are quite tall and the taller a cake gets, the harder it is to keep it straight. I made about three batches of buttercream in anticipation of making this cake. And what I love about buttercream is you don't have to make it and then use it right away. You can actually save it. So you can freeze it for up to two months and you can keep it in your refrigerator for about a week. And when you're ready to use it, you just want to thaw it out to room temperature. My Italian meringue buttercream is the recipe that I get the most questions about. But it is in my book. Cody, what page is it on? Wow, 30. <laughs> Close enough. And I have helpful tips on how to store it as well. And there's a beautiful picture of it in the golden bowl. <laughs> it deserves a golden bowl. Definitely, yeah. Once your cakes are iced, you want to chill them. And this time we really want our tears to be well cheered. Well, well, well cheered. cheered. <laughs> Woo! Tears! Yes! Well chilled. 
because the next step is doweling and tearing this cake. Place the dowel in firmly down to the bottom and then mark the height of the cake, remove it and cut all of your dowels accordingly. We'll need to be underneath the next tier of cake. I got a new pair of gardening shears and it has changed my life. <laughs> I don't know why I waited so long. And they have a bit of a spring, so it actually helps you when you're pushing and they're sharp. I dumped that zero and I got me a hero. <laughs> <laughs> I want to name my gardening shears. I really do. That's how much I love them. Guys, please leave a comment below if you know what I should name my new garden shears. The next thing I want to do is place the next tier on top. This is where buttercream cakes get really tricky. If this was a fondant cake, I would use royal icing and that would dry and definitely stick. Buttercream gets solid, but it's not really sticky. You still have to be careful. Again, we're gonna repeat the process. So measure that next tier, find the center, measure to make your circle formation of dowels to hold the next tier. Place that tier on, cut your dowels to size, and then add your final tier. I chose not to tier this cake perfectly centered. Because it's a buttercream cake, it's harder to do and you won't be able to move your cake as easily. The other nice thing about doing this is it gives you more room on the surface of each cake to place your flowers. Just tell people it's, what's the word? Rustic. If you need to patch the bottom edges of your buttercream tiers with more buttercream, make sure your cake is cold when you do this. If it isn't, you're gonna ruin the beautiful smooth job you've already done. So if you feel like your cake has warmed up or it's really warm, uh, where you're making the cake, put the whole cake in the fridge, let it chill, and then fill in any gaps that you've created. Now, I wanted to show you guys a really simple technique. It's very Martha Stewart circa 2002, I'd say. I'm just gonna pipe buttercream polka dots onto the cake. I'm not gonna measure. It's gonna be random, and in fact, I'm even gonna do different size polka dots. So the easiest way to do this is to put a coupler. Oh, can I show you what a coupler is? Hi, coupler. The easiest way to do this is to put a coupler in your piping bag. So this is a coupler. And then you add a tip, whatever size tip you want, and then you secure the tip in place with this. Okay, but what's great about it is midway through piping, you can change tips. So you just unscrew it, mm. put another tip, put it back on, and you don't need to have six different piping bags with buttercream. And why I love this is it's very carefree. You don't have to worry about measuring a buttercream cake, which already can cause indents in your cake. And it's the perfect opportunity to hide any flaws you don't like in your cake. Maybe there's a little air bubble. Maybe, like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's an area that you feel is not as smooth, so just make some heavier dots there. And no one is the wiser because it's not a perfect pattern. <laughs> the one thing about buttercream cakes that scares me is that if you poke them, you can see it. And boy, I poked this cake accidentally. Any little nick or scratch and the buttercream just lifts off. So if you poke your cake like I did, again, the key is chilling. Chill the cake, use a small spatula to fill in the area, and if it doesn't look perfect, pipe some more polka dots. Guys, it's time to make this cake floral and decorate it with some beautiful fresh flowers. But here at How To Cake It, I make a new cake every week. And if you wanna see what's upcoming, please subscribe. I'm adding fresh flowers to this cake. I got them from my friend Casper. And what I need to do to prep the fresh flowers for the cake is clean them up by taking off any leaves on the stem trimming them so that they're not too long. And then the next thing I like to do is make little bunches, almost like boutonnieres, and then wrap them in floral tape. And then what I need to do is get some straws. And so I found the thickest straw I could find, and then I cut three inch lengths of my straw. And this way, what I'm gonna do is anywhere I wanna add flowers to the cake, first I'm gonna insert plastic straw and then that little bunch is going to go into the straw. I want to create some nice sort of bunches or arrangements of flowers on the top 
of each tier as well as just down at the base. And I try to alternate their locations. So like one over here, one over here, one over here, one over here. I just like doing that. You could do them all down one side and have it cascading. You can do anything that you like. So is, is your son giving you any gifts? Like does he make you a cake? He used, actually last year he picked out an excellent card for me. He picked nice. it himself and it had a rolling pin and like oven, yeah. Really? He picked it himself. Nice. And he actually has made me a cake before. Really? He isn't here? Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> you sound less impressed. This is impressive. This is gorgeous. It is very gorgeous. This is Amazing. gorgeous marbling and this is not Play-Doh. This is fondant. I'm happy with this floral tiered cake and I'm super happy that I'm about to eat carrot cake. But first, I need to put on my floral crown and then cut a slice. Did the half birthday have flowers? Orhan, I've told you not to talk about that cake. Well, I still, you're still upset about that cake? I want to take that video down. I'll ask Joss and I can try. I'm, I'm not sure if we can. That's not good enough. <laughs> That's not good enough. You know what? What? If I can make another tiered floral cake, I can make another half birthday cake. You're gonna make it again. I'm gonna make a half birthday cake. There! Live action! I'm Kanye Westing this. I'm gonna remake half birthday cake next week.